everyone, it's Queen of Light, 1111. Happy Monday here with your Monday Twin Flame check-in. A lot of cards. Um, there is major, major stuff going on, so I had to use more decks just to clarify and see what's happening. Uh, but before I get started, I wanted to give you an update on a couple of things. One, I'm running a flash sale just through today. Only the offer expires tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, it's a sale 10% off my Twin Flame Extended Reading, which is a 45-minute reading where we go over your connection, um, what's going on in the connection, how you two are individually relating, what the blocks and challenges are in the connection, and the potential future energies. I'm also running a sale on my one-hour coaching session, uh, which is a custom coaching session designed specifically for you and what you want to focus on, whether it's your own journey, whether it's your connection, uh, maybe it's something around um, spirituality or your spiritual practice maybe that you're setting up. I do career coaching as well. Uh, I don't know if many of you know this, but I, in my prior life, I was um, a COO for a global firm. So I ran a pretty large company uh, where I did a lot of mentorship, ran companies, did a lot of uh, mergers and acquisitions. So I'm very, very versed in setting up firms, helping people set up their company. In fact, I've worked with a lot of people through Queen of Light uh, in this spiritual practice, helping people set up their their dreams, right? Their mission work and, and what it is that they're really interested in. Or if they don't know, then we talk about, you know, what their passions are and start to get them aligned. So if you have an interest in that, that's a one hour coaching session that I'm running a special on as well. So uh, one special on the uh, Twin Flame Extended and also on the one hour coaching session. And the special is 10% off either one of those services. And if you are interested, uh, please email me and go to uh, queenoflight1111 at gmail.com to email me and I'll send you a link for payment. And then once you've made payment, I will send you the process and we'll start scheduling your session. Um, you know, so that'll be fun. Okay, so let me know if you want to take part in that. Um, then email me queenoflight1111 at gmail.com and that is available to you uh, through 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, August um, 6th, I believe. Yeah, August 6th. Okay, then if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. Queen of Light 1111 is my handle. I am um, selling these. Look at this beautiful rainbow fluorite with um, necklace. So I have only, um, I think, two left. Look at how beautiful this is. So I am selling these. I've posted this on Instagram and um, we sold out pretty quickly. I have two more left. So if you're interested with this purchase, you will get a one card reading on your twin flame journey, okay, for guidance on that journey. And so this is available on my website for purchase, queenoflight1111.com. And so uh, go there if you're interested. Rainbow fluorites are really good for spirituality, for connecting to your third eye chakra. They're great for healing, uh, for clarity, for protection for um, you know, removing negative energies and transmuting into positive. And so these a lot of Reiki healers use this. So if you are interested in purchasing um, that, go to queenoflight1111.com. All right, let's just go ahead and get started. I've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. So there is an ending, okay? So no shock and awe. I just want to go ahead and just tell you now, there is a major, major ending. I always start with a the blessings and the blessing for this connection is that it's over. It is over. We've got the death card. One, two, three, three, three times. We've got the ten of swords. We've got the tower two times. Okay? So what's over? That old paradigm. That final, final crumbling, whatever little leg or platform was keeping the old tower up, you know, that old tower that they were in, which was, you know, um, had a horrible foundation, lots of cracks, lots of deceit, you know, they were not a vibrational match. That is over. 
It's over. That tower has fallen in a big, big way. Okay. And we did get a blessing for the connection, which is the last and final breath. And the clarifier to that was the palace of cups, which is that emotion, that mystery, that, you know, all of that, that very, very watery energy is over. People are, they are going to now rebuild as a vibrational match, as a stronger, um, in stronger individuals and that's what's going to happen that paradigm is over it's over and you know what you want it to be over you don't want any part of that old cycle you don't want to take one brick one nail one piece of wood anything you don't want anything from that old tower this should be a brand new rebuild okay we have the ten of wands the tower, the tower, we have the ten of swords, we have the ten of cups, we have the ten of, I thought we got the ten of pentacles somewhere, I don't know, we'll go through it, we've got the death card, lots of endings, lots of endings, oh, we do have the ten of pentacles, um, and so, and I had to, I got a little worried here, I was like, oh shit, is it over, so I bust out another deck, and I said, okay, tell me, what is the situation? Is this over or is this a beginning? And so the card that I received for that message was Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is building that legacy. So this is like very, very strong message to me from universe, from the spirit, from God, that this tower, this crumble is that, yes, it's the death of the old. And now when I, and so when I said, okay, is it the death of the connection or is this the beginning of something? And we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is, this is the beginning of laying the new foundation for something long-term, something long-lasting, a legacy for this collective couple. So it is not the end of this new beginning. It is the end of the old paradigm. That is over, 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 over. I don't even, O-V-E-R. I don't even know how to say it even more, okay? It's over. So this card here, should tell you that yes that old masculine that old feminine where there was sadness and loss and um you know lack of honor and integrity that is over and what are we doing now we're building something for the long term okay building something for the long term that will sustain that will be for permanent physical sacred union okay so that's what we got all right so let's go ahead and start with the blessings the opening messages for the masculine the feminine the connection okay so today the message for our masculine and he's got this i gotta tell you a story about this real quick so he's got blessing of intuition in his environment this third eye when i asked okay what is his what's happening in his environment third eye chakra but it kind of flipped out so i put it back and then like too many came out and I said, you know what? I'm moving on from his environment. I'm going to start with the feminine, you know, same set of cards, etc. Then I went back to the environment. I didn't pull her cards and I got this and it, this card came out again, but with two cards. I put it back. I put it and I shuffled again and it came out again. So this is a very strong message that our masculine knows. He is awake. He knows. Third eye chakra is I know. I know intuitively I know. And so what is he doing? He knows who he was. He knows who he is. He knows who he's transforming into. And he wants to take action now based on his intuition. Okay. So now what is his blessing? His blessing is a blessing on his intuition, which very much goes with the card here that came out for me three times today um, about that he knows. He knows about this connection. He knows intuitively what he needs, what he wants. Okay. He is awake, awake. His 3D self is awake. Remember, I am a 3D reader. I do not read for the 5D because that helps no one, okay? The 5D should be applied to you and your specific journey only for your ascension, for your healing, for the things that you need to um, address in this lifetime. You do not use the 5D to see your masculine and, oh, he's so great and these are all the messages, but in the 3D, he's not 
he's not you know showing those same behaviors that is how a lot of feminine stay stuck if he is displaying those 5d behaviors in the 3d fine great if he does not do not attach yourself to the 5d masculine the 5d is the best potential of everyone i have coached other healers other people other women masculines etc on that exact concept do not apply the 5d mask into the 3d masculine if he's not it, those have to blend okay so this masculine this one is awake okay he's awake in the 3d and the 5d he is showing exactly who he is both in the 5d and both in the 3d okay and what is the clarifier five of cups why is he awake because he had to go through all this crap these three cups missing out on the blessing of his feminine he had to go through this whole journey of third parties whatever okay to become awake but how did he get into this sadness right this sadness helped him with his intuition because she the feminine chose herself okay the feminine operated in her own self-love the feminine while yes grieving for her masculine initially once she got more further on her journey she knew she doesn't want this connection in that way if it is not going to be her vibrational match it's not and so he had to learn he had to learn lessons from karmics from third parties and look at this person hand on head like oh, what did i do it's like when you wake up from a bad hangover like what did i do now he knows what he did but now he knows what he needs to do to correct himself okay to correct the situation what is his other blessing i love this for him i use the ganesha cards today by the way i get a lot of questions queen light what coin cards are you using blah, blah blah amazon storefront the link is in my bio i have an amazon storefront every single deck every single crystal anything and everything that i use if you click on that link you can um, see what the names of the cards are. You can even purchase them from the storefront, okay? So just FYI. So use the Ganesha cards. This is about achievement. It's telling me, look, right, we just talked about. He is awake, right, guys? We just said he is awake. I said he is awake. So when this achievement card comes out, this is all about, you know, he is surrounded by abundance now, success, okay? This is all about um he's realized he, that he has developed his spirituality and consciously is working with the divine he has two cards of intuition now from two separate decks okay so this is saying that he has achieved this intuition he has achieved this ascension okay and his he's got a high level of self mastery coupled with high ethical practice which now is going to also give him material success. All right? He's he's very much awake, guys. This guy's awake. And so what is the clarifier? The chariot. This is number seven card. Seven's a number of spirituality, spiritual seeking, spiritual teaching. This is all about his intuition. And now he can move forward. He can take action. And sure enough, the energy card, not for the spoiler alert, for this third eye chakra, action now he's gonna take action towards his feminine so he knows i'm telling you once you are awake i've said this you cannot go back to sleep this masculine is not going to go back to sleep he's not he's not going back to sleep so um very very interesting that this is um that this is happening right that he is awake that he's um in, intuitive and now he's going to move forward so what is his next um, card as far as how is he representing himself today he's representing himself today as the seven of cups so he's in his emotions right he's in his emotions he's in his emotions he's in his um uh you know like he, he wants to move forward he's in his sadness so the five of cups coupled with the chariot he's just like oh i don't know really which way to go which way to go how do i now move this forward like what what am i gonna do so this is a little bit of procrastination this is a little bit of um chaos and so it, this is a little bit of illusions of daydreaming 
right? So he's very much in this energy of um, wanting to make a decision, getting out of this lack of clarity, out of all of this emotion that he's experiencing, okay? So he's definitely in that energy. So now um, for our feminine, for our feminine, we have um, a few blessings as well. And so, you know, this is like I said earlier, this is all about uh, now coming into permanent sacred union, right guys? I said permanent sacred union. So the first card is, remember, she's the high priestess. She's the empress. She's mastered herself. This is about a blessing to shield and safeguard you. First thing that I got, because it's also clarified with the king of cups, okay? Which is about emotions. It's about love. It's about, um, you know, a mature love, right? This is a love with the king, this is a love with the king, not a page, not a knight. Love with the king. There is there are a couple of things that I got. One, she is helping protect him on this journey. So if you're praying for your masculine, if you're praying for his protection, for his safeguard, uh, this is this is part of it. You're protecting your masculine. But the other thing that I got is that, and this is not to scare you, but this is like naysayers. This is negative energy. This is like all those people now that are you know, like switching up labels. I hate the label too, but like I've seen so many people switch from the twin flame to this, this label, this label, that label. And it's just, I feel like it's just confusing. And I, I think it's just like, you know, I'd prefer not to even use a label, but people need to identify with something, right? This is a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual journey, but this is it also about there's a lot of people in separation. There's a lot of people in separation. This collective is coming into union, sacred physical union in this life. This is a blessing to shield you from those that perhaps are in separation, perhaps do not believe in your union, in your connection, in your masculine. This is from the dark. This is from the negative energies. You're being blessed on your connection that you will have this blessing to shield not only your connection, but yourself and your masculine. That is exactly what I got when I got this card was that there's a lot of people out there. You know, you can't help it. We're humans, right? We're humans. We are spiritual beings. And I'm not saying this wrong. Spiritual beings having a human experience. Humans do sometimes have envy and jealousy and all of these things. And so those are energies and those energies can affect, right? No one is po more powerful than the universe or God, but can it impact? Can it affect? Can it add a delight? Perhaps, okay? But this is a blessing that you are protected, your masculine is protected, your connection is protected. That's the blessing. The second blessing that we got is blessings and death. And I was like, uh, okay. So that, this card of blessings, this is all about, look at this, 44. 44 is an eight, which is about cycles, guys. And so when this card comes up, this is saying in the debt, in this book, you are divinely protected. It says it. I'm going to show you. You are divinely protected. Okay? Can't make it up. It says, consider exactly what exactly do you want at this time? What do you want at this time? All right? And so once you are in harmony with what you want, then you can ha you like have this manifest. And so this blessing is about clear intentions that once you've identified what you desire, that Ganesha will work to clear the obstacles and amp up your blessings. And what is it that you want? The death of the old, a transformation of this connection. That is is what you want that is what you want okay so now how is she representing herself six of cups she's being nostalgic about the past this is also a card of soul connections this is also a card of reunions okay this is also a card of reflections so she's thinking about a lot she's really honing in on what is that she wants because she's not tied to union which is so funny because the minute you're not tied to union is union is what you get one within yourself two if you're meant union with the masculine so what is the blessing for the connection 
a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. And it's clarified with the Palace of Cups. So when this card comes out, this is all about, this is like we're at the end of this cycle. Death, 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 death. Tower, tower. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, okay? Lots of Tens, Ten of Cups, World, Wheel. This is almost over. Last leg. You're getting, you're blessed that this old crap is going to go away. And what is the crap? Is this Palace of Cups, right? This, this, this energy, this very watery energy, which you want the love, but you don't want the old love. You don't want the old love. So when the Palace of Cups comes out, this is about, it's cool. It's, it's funny how they all got this blue, right? Seven of Cups, Six of Cups. There's a lot of water in the energy right now. And so this is about a cool environment where the subtle moods can be explored, okay? This is about, you know, mysterious processes and subconscious and this is about messages and dreams and this is about you know vulnerability and so this is like we're done we're done with that kind of old vulnerability that was um filled with fear fueled with ego fueled with codependency we're done with that okay what is the other blessing for this connection healing healing with the nine of coins they've got the blessing that they've healed independently because of each other also okay so when this card comes up this card is all about um the true essence of your soul is complete health this is like you're the union of your soul the union of your masculine and feminine within and i say within yourself because nine of coins is a very independent card it's a single card so the blessing is you both healed successfully individually and that is why now you are ready for union, okay? But we have here, as the and this connection is representing itself as the hanged man, there's still a little bit more to shed. We're still in this hanged man's energy. Yes, people are awake. It is still suspended because there's one more leg left before we get to all the aces, right? Death, death, ten of swords, ten of, ten of wands, tower, 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 right? So that's what's happening. There's lots of indication of the new beginnings, but I really truly feel there's one more thing. There's one more thing left to do. I don't know what that is yet, but we will, we will find out what that is. Okay, so now um, let's get to the bottom of the deck for this tarot here. Um, for the clarifiers for the messages is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is like all the burdens on the back. They have carried all the burdens on the back through this healing, through these emotions, through, through this journey with each other, okay? The clarifiers, the bottom of the deck for the, how they're all representing themselves, how he's representing himself as the Seven of Cups, she's the Six of Cups, the connection is the hanged man, the fool. This is also what tells me is that this death that we're experiencing is the old. And now we're ready to step in to something fresh and the new, okay? So now, um, what is the bottom of the deck for the theme for their head, heart, and 3D space or environmental space? The theme is material and spiritual prosperity. So they are very much in a really good place. And what I'm getting from this is in the 3D and in the 5D, and that is that union that I'm talking about. What is the bottom of the deck for the theme of their head, heart, and 3D space from an energetic level? The journey, just like the Fool card. Again, it's very much confirming to me that that old crap is over. They're ready to embark on this new, new journey, okay? Uh, bottom of the deck for his head, heart, and environment is the tower. Tower, okay? What's it clarified by? Three of Pentacles. He's learned his lessons through the crumble, okay? What about her? What's her uh, bottom of the deck for head, heart, and 3D space? Four swords. She's like, I'm exhausted from this journey. I am exhausted from this journey what's her clarifiers the tower i'm exhausted from bringing this tower down with him it's tiring i'm tired she's re she's healing until they get back together to rebuild this okay um the bottom of the deck for a couple of clarifiers that i needed around their energy is the world card which is completion okay and remember 
that I also have this Ten of Pentacles, which I said, is this the end or is this the beginning? It is the beginning of this new journey that they're embarking on. Okay, so what is happening in our masculine's headspace as related to his feminine? So when he's thinking about it, what's the theme? Three of Cups and Deceit. And so he's very much thinking about how he has deceived her in the past, okay? When he's thinking about it, what is he thinking? I said, what's this deceit about? Ten of Cups. He sabotaged his happiness. And that is all he's thinking about right now. That's why in his intuition, as he's waking up, he's like hand on his head, like, what did I do? What did I do? And so now as he, um, let's see, as we drill down into his energy, what are we getting? We're getting that, you know, he's very much uh, thinking about how he sabotaged this connection and his ultimate happiness. And so his first card out to drill down is the Four of Swords, okay? The Four of Swords is all about healing. Remember, that's her bottom of the deck. He's healing. He's healing from his addictions to this ego um, that he was, you know, succumbing to. His, you know, Four of Swords is an addiction to all that attention. Four of Swords is like, I need a little rest. I'm healing from this energy that I was giving into. So I said, what about the Four of Swords? Eight of Wands. He's healing for this new propelling into the future, okay? But Ten of Swords, he's like, this is over. Like, he's like, I'm healing. I want to move this forward. I know I sabotage my happiness. But this is over. He feels like it's over. He really does. This is consistent with last week's reading for me. What I did for him, you know, what I did with that reading, it was very much that he's like, it's over. And I said, okay, so what happens with this Ten of Swords? We got the Fool. And so he wants this new beginning. He's like, this is oh, this is done. This I want this pain done. And I'm ready for this new beginning with my Queen of Swords who taught him the lesson, okay? I said, who's the Queen of Swords? High Priestess. That's our feminine because she came out as the High Priestess too. And spoiler alert, in, in the headspace for the feminine, we got the King of Swords. So this is no third party and I did check third party and there's no third party. So um, we've got the High Priestess as the Queen of Swords. I said, one more death. Remember, she got the death card here as her blessing. She also got the death card in her headspace with the high priestess so this is like he's like this shit is over i'm healing i'm communicating with her but this feels over i want a new beginning i've learned my lesson i'm more intuitive and i want to transform this connection to have union to have union okay and this healed balanced connection and i said what's the healing about knight of swords it's about him coming forward with his truth okay so now uh, what's her theme for her headspace when she thinks about her masculine emotional loss? It's like five of cups. She knows she's sad. Okay. Just like he had the five of cups, they're mirroring, right? He, she's sad. Okay. But she's like, I valued myself. I value myself. I said, what's the five of cups about son? And so she's coming out of this sad energy. She's coming out of it. You're right. She's like, I'm not gonna, I can't cry over this shit anymore. I can't, I can't cry over this anymore because I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. And if you can't come to me in the same manner, then I'm going to have to walk away. Okay. And so that's, that's her valuing herself, loving herself first, which is what the journey is about. This door to value. That's how you create stability. So number 31 card, which is a four, which is about stability. Okay. So she's coming out of her sadness because she's valuing herself. And so let's talk about drill down into her headspace. Three of cups, just like here, right? That was the sadness, three of cups. What about it, right? Eight of, eight of swords clarifies the three of cups. It's like, you know, they're stuck in this energy, two of swords. And she's like retreated. She's gone within, all right? And she wants to move out of it. She wants to move out of that energy. And then we have the knight of wands, right? She wants to move out of that energy. She wants to move into to something, right? But I said, but that knight of wands is that in and out energy. I said, what is the knight of wands? Death. <laughs> She's done with the in and out. I said, give me another card about the death. Is it over or is it beginning? We got the fool. Just like we got the fool um, here in the bottom of the deck for this, how they're representing themselves. We got the fool for what he wants too. So there is like, this has to be the death of this knight of wands, okay? In his energy of this Casanova for a new beginning to occur. And so what does she do? Seven of Pentacles. She's not investing. She's just looking at all the stuff that's planted at this time. 
with her king of swords, which is the match of the queen of swords, because this is what he needs to be. She's waiting to see if he's going to bloom into this king of swords, because intuitively high priestess, right? And she knows he's in his intuition now. She knows he's awake, but she's the high priestess too. Remember, that's who that queen of swords is. And it's so funny that the queen of swords is clarified by the high priestess. The king of swords is clarified by the high priestess. So they're both very much a match, okay? Both very much a match. And so they're both very intuitive. They're a vibrational match, but it's just like that final blend of the three and the five. They're so close, but she's not really, like she sees the change in him, but she's like, man, I really, like he needs to come, come at me like a lot stronger with that 5D presence in the 3D. So she's just pausing at this time. She is pausing at this time because she sees it, but she doesn't really see it like she wants to see it, okay? What's happening in his heart space as related to the masculine? I mean, the, the feminine, the, the masculine's heart space is amazing. We got the magician three times, three times, three times. Here, theme for his heart, awareness. He is aware. Look at that third eye chakra is lit, Okay, he is awake, he knows. And I said, okay, what's that energy about? Magician in the mirror. He knows what he wants. He is awake that he wants this connection. And I said, okay, well, what does he want to manifest? So I said, just tell me. Transformation of this contract, okay? And remember, I stopped clarifying after I got enough messages that it's not the end, it's not the end, it's the beginning, it's the end of the old. He wants this old way to go away. And he wants to manifest this correct contract in the way that it should be executed. All right. So now as we drill down into his heart space, and I wanted the storyline on that magician's energy. So I pulled a lot of cards to clarify because it came out again. All right. So in this heart space, he is a little closed off still. Remember, he's in the five of cups. He's in this little confused He's kind of sick of this, where the hell we're stuck, right? Because he wants to manifest something and he's just like, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to sit here and do nothing, okay? So in his heart space, is just kind of little, he's just like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I did do the three cups thing and I did miss the blessing and he's trying to get into his full power, okay? So in his heart space, got the four of cups energy around this manifestation. I said, all right, now this is the third time the magicians come out. What is this about? Five of Cups, match to the Five of Cups in his blessings, okay? That he he created, magician, he created this situation. And look at and this one, his head is completely down, all right? Review of the past, sadness, perhaps even shame, okay? Around, I said, what about Five, what about five of Cups? Around the Three of Swords, around third parties, okay? So what about that? That, so he stopped it. He stopped it. And he's gone within. And I said, okay, so now that he's he knows that he created all this third party situations and that he's realized this, now what? I said, now what does he want with her? These two cards flew out together. Two of cups and the ace of pentacles. Now he knows he wants this union. Oh, like, holy shit. So I said, okay, fine. So what happens after the magician and this whole storyline? Eight of cups. I said, okay, well, what's he walking towards? Six of wands, his success. His success. Six of Wands comes out in his environment too. So he's very aligned, all right? He wants to have success. Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant. Commitment. This is self-mastery. Eight of Pentacles. Around Now he's ready for this contract. He's ready. So now, what is happening with our feminine positive movement forward? This is like the Eight of Wands energy, just like he has here, right? Um... Is this eight of wands? Hold on, sorry guys, because this is psychic tarot, so they don't really tell you. So let me just see here. Hold on a second. Excel no, this is not that. Well, she did get the eight of wands, but what is that eight? Hold on one second. Sorry guys. Uh, positive moving forward. Oh, this is self mastery. Eight of pentacles. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, eight of pentacles. Guess what we have here? Eight of pentacles for him. Eight of pentacles for her, followed by blossoming abundance. So her self-mastery here is creating all this abundance in her life, related to her masculine, related to her life in general, okay? So there is all this abundance. There's like cherry picking, right? Like she, she's, this is number three. She's created something now. So now what is happening as we drill down into her heart space, okay? So what do we have? 
queen of pentacles she is in her power she's standing as the queen of pentacles very grounded i said what about the queen of pentacles chariot just like him she is ready to balance things out within herself and move things forward with her queen of pent with her king of pentacles i said what about the king of pentacles seven of wands it's very interesting that's what we have here for him seven of wands in his environment she's standing her ground with him like she's like i'm not going to be swayed by you just because you're back okay none of this none of that none of this charm is going to work right now we need to take our time uh with with things and how we rebuild this new tower okay and that's what this judgment card is all about which comes out after which is there is this evaluation there is this desire for a rebirth of the connection but she's a new queen she is the empress all right and that's and then she wants this union so you know she's in her power with her perfect match queen of pentacles king of pentacles things are balanced out but she's standing her ground with him because she wants to rebuild and have this rebirth in this reunion six of cups six of cups in a high vibrational way okay she doesn't want this to be another in and out energy she's done with that she's just done with the in and out okay it's gotta be right this time or she's fine to walk away so now what's happening in his environment as related to his feminine first card out is the third chai chakra with action he knows he's ready to take action towards his feminine okay he's ready he's like look at these two horses this is like the chariot look at this we got the chariot for him with achievement all right he's ready he's ready in his, and that's what he should be doing he should be taking action and he knows it action towards what as we drill down the fool okay the fool he wants his new beginning knight of cups he wants to move this forward in love and he wants success remember we got the six of wands here which is that eight of cups he's moving towards success and in his environment it reflects the same i said okay fine now that we got the six of wands two times what is that about two of wands He's making a decision around this partnership with her that he wants to call back to life. Judgment. Judgment is a dupe to her heart space. And so what's the final card? Seven of Wands. And he's standing his ground. Okay? He's not going to sway from what he knows. He's honed in and he knows. Oh, by the way, bottom of the deck for these clarifiers that I did for that Queen of Swords is the Eight of Wands, which is that clarifier here for what he's healing he wants to move things forward all right what's happening in her environment as related to her masculine here's the eight of wands movement forward accelerated movement forward towards sixth chakra archangel metatron what is that card all about let me see hold on a second this is number 40 oh clarity of thought personal vision third eye chakra oh my lord wow uh it says this is about brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow or third eye, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. This is about clarity. They're both working towards their third eye. Both of them have this third eye. We're moving fast because we are awake now, completely awake. And so now what's happening is we drill down into her, into her environment. Pa Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. I feel like she's observing him closer. She's observing him. This is not delayed communication. This is like I'm watching. I'm watching to see is the 5D showing up in the 3D? Because right now, hanged man, which matches the blessing or the representation of the connection, things are suspended <clears throat> while she's watching him. I said, watching him what? Come into his power, strength, okay? For what? Union, four of wands. The final card is wheel. I said, what are we turning into? Or what are we moving into? Eight of wands again movement forward in the connection quick once i mean now that he knows now that he knows what he wants now that he's fully awake he is ready to take action to rebuild the tower to rebuild the tower he's learned his lessons he knows what he did they're both healing they both unified their masculine and feminines within each other and now they're ready for sacred union in the 3d with each other what's going on with the connection bottom of the deck eight of cups and then the clarifiers, the magician again, okay? So now what's happening in the connection? Okay, first card out, five of arrows. This is about distrust, conflict, clarified by the queen of pentacles. She still doesn't trust him yet. 
Queen of Pentacles, which is her and her heart's faith. She still doesn't trust him yet. Remember, we got this emotional loss. We got this, he deceived her. So she still doesn't trust him. That makes sense. It's realistic. But innocence, there is this fool card again, man. We keep getting this fool card. And so in this tarot uh, deck, this, this is all about, hold on, let me just tell you what it says. It's all about new ventures, innocence. So she's not trusting him, but she knows there's change. And so there is the start of this new great journey. Journey here, bottom of the deck for their energy. The fool, bottom of the deck for how they're representing themselves. The fool in his environment and now showing up in their current connection. And what is it clarified by? Two cards flew, flew, flew out, the lovers and the world. And what this is telling me is that there's this completion of the cycle. And now we're moving forward to our divine connection. We're moving forward to our divine connection to the sacred union, okay? And why is that? Because the high priestess shows out, shows up. Because they are wiser. They're more intuitive, okay? And what's the clarifier? The nine of cups. This is this is the wish, right? This is the wish. There this the wish was to to be partners, to be enlightened, to be awake so that we can have our wish. What's the next card in their connection? Five of coins, this abandonment, this separation, this rejection. We will now come to balance justice. Things are balanced now through the separation. And so now what? Princess of staves, clarified by the ace of cups. The princess of staves is all about communication, enthusiasm, inspiration. Now we have this enthusiasm and inspiration towards this new love with each other. And then finally, this justice, now that things have come into balance, eight of wands again, now we can move this forward. There is equality. We are partners of a vibrational match. He is the hierophant. She's the high priestess. He is the emperor. She's the empress. She is a queen. He is a king. There is balance in this collective. And that old day is done. And we're ready to manifest the new. Okay? Let me know if this resonates, guys, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you want to take part in the um, the special, email me. It's only through tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time, Queen of Light 1111 at gmail.com. And if you want to book your own personal reading with me um, outside of those two services for the flash sale, just go directly to my website, Queen of Light 1111.com. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, I will be back uh, later this week with another energy check-in. Bye.